Hey everyone, it's me Kylie and welcome to my channel or welcome back. Today we are going to do a book tag. I'm going to do the plan with me book tag. Um, plan with me was created by Shelby from what's my page again. And she's the one who tagged me. So let's get into it. And you know what? Before anyone asks. Yes, this is purple lipstick. Did it come from my daughter's Vampirina Halloween face paint set? Yeah. Yeah, it did. And I love it. <laughs> Feeling good today. Okay. I love planning. I love this tag. It's good. Okay. Good job, Shelby. Good idea. Number one. Payday. A book you would buy right now. If I had the money and I, I would buy right now the Lunar Chronicles box set. Okay, number two, pay a bill. A book you would get rid of right now. I don't have those kind of problems because I just unhaul my books almost immediately. But I only finished reading this one on couple days ago and it's only three stars so I'm gonna unhaul it number three a doctor's appointment a book that makes you feel better when you are down I will give you three guesses but you are not gonna need them Harry Potter okay. number four a meeting a book you felt obligated to read because of the hype. I don't know if obligated is the right word. Um, and I haven't already read them. But. If you follow Read With Cindy. Which you all do. She has like 2,000 followers. Um, you can't watch her videos on these books and not want to read them. So that's where we're at. Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom, Leave Our Dugo. I'll get there eventually. A lunch date. A book you fell in love with because of a friend's recommendation. I'm going to do a whole video on books that I read because of booktubers. But so I'm just randomly picking one. I five starred Circe. I think 5 star or like 4.5 star. Something pretty along those lines. By Madeline Miller. And I picked this up because I think two people actually. Rhiannon from Crescent, Rood Me the Crescent Moon Reads. This one, I think if you watch her videos, I'm not sure if she changed it. But usually you can see the full cover of this one like in her background. Um, and also... I think for like the quarterly book club that's hosted by Book Roast, this was suggested at one point for one of the books. And so I chose it based on that. Loved it. Okay. Number six, work um, slash schoolwork. Work. I don't go to school anymore. Um, a book that was hard to get through. This one's a recent read. I read it on audiobook. Um, Lost Boy, The Tale of Captain Hook, I think, is how the second part goes. Christina Henry. Oh, God. It was, like, it was good still, but it was so hard because just the sheer amount of kids that got killed throughout that book like it's in the teens that's how many kids kids died oh it was brutal it was super br brutal and i think that she's known for being brutal and like gory and stuff like that but i wasn't i mean 
don't, it was my first time reading that author, so I wasn't fully prepared for what was going to happen. Gym Day, a book that gets your heart pumping. Uh, Paige Turner. I don't, I struggled with this one, but I guess like, like thrillers and suspenseful ones would fall into that quarter and I don't read them a lot. I'm not sure that this is considered a thriller and I haven't read it in a long time, but the movie is definitely like a, there's a lot of stuff going on and it's, they're getting chased and whatever. So pick that one. Da Vinci Code. Love it. Oh, I don't have a book for this one. Date night. A book with your favorite romantic couple. I don't have one for that one. Um, I don't have a favorite romantic couple. Sorry. Okay, number nine. Vacation. My favorite. Um, a book or series you would want to binge if you had all the time in the world. I wrote down two for this. I don't own either of them. But if I just had all day to read books, um, if I won a lottery or some crap, um, I would read Game of Thrones and also, I think the series is called the Throne of Glass series, Sarah J. Mass. There's quite a few books and I think that's, that's like a longer series, like not just a trilogy or anything. I'd read those ones, but definitely like... Game of Thrones is something that I can't see myself picking up just because of how much time I'm anticipating that it would take me to get through that. Number 10, to-do list. A book you keep meaning to get to, but don't have time. So, I don't know, like not, this isn't exactly, but like my mom got me this for Christmas. I'm super happy to have it, super happy. I'm really excited about it, but I've like, filled my TBR all the way up to December. Um, so I'm thinking in January, we're going to see a TBR with this one and these two. Yeah. And maybe some other hyped ones. We'll see what I get for Christmas. But so I need to tag some people and I always forget to prepare that. Um, so I'm going to tag people in Twitter and I'm going to tag people in the description. So check the description to see if you're tagged. I try to always tag people that comment on my videos and people that um, are active on Twitter and interacting with me um, so that I know that they see it. Yeah. Okay. I hope everyone really loved my purple lipstick today and my awesome hat. Like and subscribe to see more from me. And that's all I have for you today. Bye, guys.